Ita kufone la lulu kikomso we sing bye, 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 bye. I worked with her father. Live Maponga J here on your Sankofa program broadcasting from Johannesburg Galaxy Universal Network. The show is uh, the show is Sankofa, and with me today it's gonna be happening. We're gonna be kicking out stuff here. I'm excited. I'd be calling a few friends just before the show began and started, and uh, to celebrate the Great African Cultural Month, we would not find a better a better author, a better philosopher, a father, a grandfather, a mathematician, man. I, 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 I decided, actually, had I met you a bit earlier on, I would have been, a, I would have been an engineer by now. Oh. I would have created the, the first African spaceship ba back, to, back to the skies. Today and tonight, it would be very special. I'm a student today. I have a grandmaster, a teacher of note by the name of Uzulu Matabo Zulu. Brilliant mind. And we have lots of works that he has done here. We'll be taking you through some of these uh, beautiful works that he has already published. Quite an array, a barrage, those who speak English, a tapestry of uh, philosophical and uh, very interesting books. All of them which have to do with developing and re empowering African indigenous knowledge and packaging it for our present generation so that our children can learn. We have many of our children who are picking up careers and they're being told by their teachers that you failed mathematics, you failed physics, you failed chemistry. But cooking pop is chemistry. Who can fail to know how to mix proportions? And for me to have him in the studio today, I would not find a better way to celebrate Africa Month but to share with you today Umkulu Uzulu Matabo Zulu. Gumani go to Uzulu Matabo Zulu. I wish I can move Mufanji. We kapu kapu like in the background. Let's know who is the man yeah. we are talking to tonight before we can look. And by the way, promise me, this is not the first and last time. This is an introduction. Makos. Because we're going to be having this conversation actually maybe for the rest of the month, I think. Mm. Maybe we can even block you for next week, Monday. Makos. Next week, Wednesday, same time. Makos. Then we can actually have a continuous program. Okay. And maybe the fourth one, we can actually do a full Sunday. I would want you to sit here mm. and we can call all our high school children together and you can reintroduce these complicated subjects mm. like mathematics and physics and chemistry, numbers and calculations, triangles and circles and angles, geometry, trigonometry, and all these things that the European wants to confuse us with like Africans don't know these things. Who is Mkulu Zulu Matavo? I'll talk about Zulu. Talk about Makul. Makul. Hi, who is mathematics in Zulu? Who is talk about Makul? I'll talk about Makul. Yes, it's Balo. It's Balo. Di Balo. Di Balo. Yes. Uh, so, Zulu Matavo Zulu mm. is a shepherd boy. Okay. That's where it starts. I started there. Okay. Absolutely, my course. I started there. Marcos. Head in kettle. Absolutely. With the trousers that had LPs. Same here. On, 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 the, on, on the back side. And, yeah. and dusty. Yeah. Yes. The and then. Drinking fresh milk. Oh, my course. My course. <laughs> and, and that was not allowed. Like, like to, to suck straight to the mouth was yeah. not allowed. Uh -huh. But we did it anyway. Oh, of course. <laughs> boys, are boys. boys are boys. Exactly. Yeah. And, and so. Um, now, there's a concept of time mm. among the Basutu. So, time in Susutu is called Nako. Nako. Nako, yeah. Mm -hmm. so, so, in our research, we also do linguistics analysis. Mm. So, the word Nako actually refers to the horns of the cow. Mm. Hence, we you know the shepherd boy and the cow. Okay. So, Nako comes from Naka. Naka. Naka, which means Amapond. Amapond. Yeah. And in Shona, Naka yeah. is very close to Naka. Oh. Naka, which is inheritance. Look at that. And you inherit your father's cow. Yes, yes, yes. So. Ah, that's powerful stuff. Yeah. And there's a closer word also in Soto, Nala. Nala. Which means abundance. Mm. Yes. Pula. Pula. Nala. Nala. Abundance. Abundance, mm. exactly. And so uh, my mother, I was born in Johannesburg. Mm -hmm. uh, my father came from KZN. My mother came from uh, the Free State. Mm. So make him Soto. Ndateke Kimzul. Kimzul. And then Umzu Umzutu. Umzutu. Nine seven two. That's mathematics. Absolutely, that's mathematics. Mixing yes, Z and Z and Z. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Doing what we call, you know, concatenation. You know? Uh, yes. So, and then my mother died when I was twelve. Okay. And then uh, that tragic experience meant that I had to leave Johannesburg mm. to go and live in the Free State. Back in the village back in the village and I didn't know much. I, I used to go just visiting there. Mm -hmm. So this time I had to stay there. Come to stay. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so uh, that's when I got to know the concept of time mm -hmm. because uh, it's by... Where in, where in Free State? Eastern Free State. So in a place, a village called Matamu. 
Matambo. Matambo is between uh, Bethlehem okay. and Castle. Okay. Oh, it's right on your way to actually it's a triangle because yeah. you can go to Kwakwa, no, okay. you can go to KZN. You are right there. You are right there. Okay. Yes, exactly. Yeah. yeah. No, I've, done, I've done Bethlehem. Okay. And I've done uh, the, the freeway on this side. Yes, right. And that's I've right. done Castle. Yeah, Castle. Castle. Yes. I've been to Castle. Well, it is a triangle. Eh? Yeah. Mathematics again. Yeah, yeah. We're back to that. Yeah. And and so there's a small station called Africa Scope. Mm. So Africa Scope is uh, on the uh, Warden Road between Bethlehem Warden. and Warden. Yes. yes, I see Warden. Yes, Africa Scope there. So that's where uh, yeah. Matamung is. Mm. Yes. So all my uh, the umbilical cords uh, of my clan mm. is there. They're there. Uh, they're there. Mm. Exactly. When you get when you get there, the ground knows you are there. Exactly. Yeah. Uh -huh. We have a concept of Hatamabala. That means you come. Uh, yes. uh, 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 put your feet on the soil. Feet Take off your shoes. Absolutely. Do some earthing. So that's where I grew up. And then, uh, so what I found very interesting, uh, which inspired my knowledge, is that uh, I'm a pond where, where the, 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 the horns, mm. they are the time, right? Kinako. Mm. Manaka, Kinako. Mm. And now they also showed me there is a star system. Named also cosmology. After, yes, there's a star system called uh, Manaka and Manakana. There are two. They're actually galaxies. Mm. I think in English they call them Ma Ma Magellan clouds. Mm. There is the there's a major Magellan clouds. There's the a minor, minor Magellan clouds. Mm. Yes. Mm. So in Sesotho, along the Milky Way. Exactly. Mm. Exactly. And in Sesotho, mm. uh, the big one is called Manaka. Manaka. The small one is called Manakana. Manakana. Yes. Mm -hmm. And that's where the time is. My daughter's name is Manaka. Hmm. Mm. Mm. Mako. In, in Shona, Manaka means you're beautiful. Oh, fine. Mm. Oh, you're now fine. Okay. You're now beautiful. Okay. Mm. And so it's also a cosmologi cosmologic name also. Mm. It's, it's about the cosmos. Yes. Now, it's very critical, this cosmologic part, because one of the books I've written, which is called The Sacred Knowledge of the Desert, mm. African Philosophical Transcendence. Mm. Uh, just on page 24, so it, it has a part that speaks about the genesis. Mm -hmm. I just want to read a passage there on the same point we're, t we're talking about. When the about. professor is teaching, mm -hmm. we, we have to listen to them. Mako, Setogo is a Mako. So the Basuto, like other Africans, mm -hmm. you know, Amazulu, Sean, and Debele, mm -hmm. Karangas. Karangas, yes. Mm -hmm. they, they trace their, 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 their genesis answers. to the cosmos. So here it is. The Basuto, like other Africans, trace their genesis to the cosmos. Mm. They originate from Muhubu Wakanar, mm. the galactic core. Mm. One of their Muhubu, most... Muhubu, the, uh, the, the navel. The navel. Of the cosmos. Of the cosmos. That's where they say they come from. Exactly. Kiba Sutubana. Kiba Sutubana. Kiba Sutubana. Muhubu. Muhubu. Wakanar. In Shona is Guvu. Okay. Guvu. Interesting. Yeah. Guvu. Yeah. Okay. Guvu. Muhubu. 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 Yeah. Okay. 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 That's okay. the umbilical cord. That's the umbilical cord. That's where the word embroidery comes from. Okay. That's where embo comes from. That's right. Yeah. Embo. Embroidery. Yes. Embo. Yes. Yes. Umbilical cord. Umbilical cord. Mm. The muhubu. The the substance. That's it. That's yes. It. Where we connect with that. Exactly. And yeah. water becomes a substance mm. that converts the spiritual yeah. to become physical. Yes. That's, those are the waters of women's womb. That's and they're right. birthing children. Yeah. And the connecting cable and is, the, is the... Exactly. Uh, is this. And now, not to digress, but I just like mm. the part about the amniotic fluid. You just made the point. Okay. About the amniotic fluid. Uh-huh. Right? Okay. We shall do this. So we shall be moving... No, please. We were saying something about what okay. okay. sure. I disturbed you. I was just... No worries. Uh, yeah. I will come back to I mean, that. I'm a naughty student. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> One of their most valued stars is Tosamasiu Sirius, mm. which is regarded as a tenary star system. They refer to the orbiting star of Tosamasiu, known as Beuya Tosamasiu. Tosamasiu. That mm. is Sirius, the mm. star Sirius. Donzagusa. Donzagusa. Yes. Uh -huh. Nyamasase. Nayo. Okay. Nyamasase. Yeah. Oh, Fenegra Shimburume. Hmm. The one that shines when the bachelors are coming from seeing their girlfriends. Yeah. yeah because you remember, you must not be, the sun must not find you. Yeah, it's true. If you have not married a woman. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So you can visit her in the night. Yes. But before the sun comes up. Yes. You must be out of the house. But so the star yeah. that leads you back home. Yeah, but that's that's the I like that because 
those, 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 are the, those are the ones in the past. Mm. They didn't have sexual intercourse with her before marriage. Mm. That's the interesting part, yeah. right? They could visit her. Mm. In fact, uh, among the Zulus, they've got the concept of Itkiliza. Mm. So Itkiliza is, is a girl, like, like let's say a young girl in Dombi, uh, who comes with mm Zoshela. -hmm. What Indombi will do, mm -hmm. she won't conclude with the boy. Mm -hmm. She has to involve Ikhiliza. I'm a Ikhiliza have to be involved. Who are Ikhiliza? These are the, are the older girls uh -huh. who are also uh, virgins. Uh -huh. Yes, but they're older. Mm -hmm. So their business is to be, to play the role of a safeguard. To manage. To manage, to be the vanguard, and to enforce the moral principles. Mm -hmm. Yes, because the Basutu talk about three principles. Uh, uh, the first one is called huila, mm -hmm. which means uzi. So you, you were talking about that. Shona kuira. Ira. Yeah. Okay. Ira. Ira. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So when you have the shona instrument called mbira. Mbira, yes. Mbira is the instrument. Yes, I know. I know. Mbira mm. is the gathering when people are meeting together. Ira becomes a holy gathering when mbira is played. Because but then we play mbira, mm. which is ira, yes. for ra. Hmm. Which is the sun, yes. who has come from A. Ah. Hmm. So you read Shona backwards, that is A, ah. yeah. Ra, Ira, Bira, hmm. Bira. And okay. me as a player, I'm going on Bira. Ah, that's powerful. <laughs> and I must tell you, I do have a Bira at home. Must give you some, so that one I'll give you some lessons. Ah, of course. I need, I need those lessons. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> Serious uh, cadence of seventh and progressions of meth yeah. mathematical formulas yeah. on the mbira. Yeah. That one's no joke. Mm, you, you, true, when you yeah. go on a piano yes. and you look at progressions. The octaves. The yeah. octaves. Yeah. It's, it's, it's something. But we'll keep that for another day. Makos. We'll keep that for another day. Siatoko sa makos. Kiwa chao ke horba su jubari. Exactly. Babi tana bari na kimu jamu. Kimu ki jaba atu hurana waja transport. Basha pe. Beze ina eat muntu but when they eat their own transport. <laughs> well, <laughs> actually, the door no, no, I didn't close it. <laughs> but I just want to say that I have eaten Berry. You've eaten a horse. When I was a kid, mm. they gave me a big head like this. Of a horse? Yes. Yes. Mm. And I'm telling you, there's a lot of nutrients there. Mm. But you see, there's something about the head. The head is part of divination mm. in African cosmology. Mm. Very important. Very important. Yes. They, 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 when, they when they describe these uh, bones, mm. so they have... It's an anatomy now. Yes. It's, uh, they've got different things and they've got cosmology, which is why we're reading this part on cosmology. Mm. Because the divinations are supposed to be the models, model the stars. Mm. Yes. So it says here, they refer to the orbiting star of Tosamasiu, known as Peuya Machach. Mm. Machach is not visible to the naked eye. Another star, Mabeleha, is not visible to the naked eye. But they've named them. But they've named them. How do they know that they're there? Exactly. You see, they, and, and, and let's add another, another star here, which we can see uh, tonight. Mm. As if that's not incredible enough. But so to also pay tribute to Tosa, Jupiter. In mm. Tosa. In Tosa. Uh, I know I need to go into Zagu Zalea that, that is Tosamasi serious. Yes. Manjeliza by Indonza. Indonza. Yeah, thanks. Indonza. Dosa. Their axiom says, Hobona Dosa, Limadinian Ion, meaning to see Jupiter along with its youngs. Mm. The youngs refer to the moons of Jupiter. Mm. These moons are not visible to the naked eye. But Rasutu. Have seen Jupiter? Yes, and the, with and the, and the, the call, children. And they call yeah, they call them babies. You know, the, these these moons are babies. Now that's very interesting. My word! And the book asks the question: says, how could they have known about the orbiting stars of Tosamasi without being assisted by some instrument? Hmm? How could they have known of the invisible moons of Jupiter without a technological instrument of any kind? Hmm. They were supposed to know about invisible stellar bodies. And he goes on to say, this is yet another confirmation they are from the cosmos. They don't need telescopes to trace their origins to the cosmos. Mm. Their knowledge was passed on to them by their forefathers and foremothers across many generations and long before the advent of the Europeans in South Africa. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here in a classroom. It's going to get heated up here. We've just, I've just learned something very fundamental, very fundamental, quite deep. If you find an African language that is actually names of cosmology, and what is just said floored me, how could the Sutu people know not only the stars, 
that are visible, but also even name the other stars that are invisible to the naked eye. And the technological advancements of NASA and etc. can confirm mm -hmm. that what the Sutu exactly. speak in their own language without yeah. telescopes mm -hmm. is actually in the firmament. Exactly. When you come back after the break, here with Dr. Zulu Matabo. Mm -hmm. Zulu Matabo. Zulu mm -hmm. taking us through some paces on African indigenous knowledge. Don't go away. Back right after the break. Hello. The fourth industrial technology era has forcefully changed how every profession has been working for its clients. The world has become smaller than what we used to think. Imagine the ease of talking to a person who is in Australia, China or Germany while you are in South Africa as if you're just next door. The ease that globalization and the fourth industrial technology have brought to humanity entail doing business anywhere in the world as long as you have the purpose and the means. It is our expertise as MB Chabong Incorporated to advise clients immigrating to South Africa on various permits and on opportunities for travelers who intend to sojourn in South Africa for a longer period of time. Shewa Rikpe, aye no ti kireju iti arulo. Nito rino imawani isi lo ati ofiyang baye. Shewa ni officer koko, lori awo isowo ile ati igbanilaye. Lati gba iwe rino, hu ishe okowo. Ho MB Chabangu Incorporated, Reba Energy, the Nota Re Liba Sebedisi, Lady Office Jarnakua Pretoria, Johannesburg Le Bloomfontein, MB Chabangu Incorporated, Ukumanera, Rabu Nolo Bariki Barena, Ukumana Chavis Sole Sedin Gabu Dalo, Rehopela Lerle Lechamova Lobo 012 341 4187, Hoba Lerwana Lemwala Tubi Lavo admin at Chabangu dot C O dot Z A. MB Chabangu Incorporated Mo Matata Ahumana Wotarolo. Ya Nam Janja Gunzi Mamadu Grugunzi Mang Petu in Sin Beje Zin Uma Zinya Bashan Jalama Zulu. Undati Uzulu Matabo Zulu, a prolific writer and one of the mind blowing academicians that I've met in my own life. I like think I love my job. You know, it makes me meet people that mm -hmm. on a normal day I would never have met him. But some interesting history actually we we have known some people in common. Yeah. We've been yes. in similar spaces without knowing Amazing. That, that today was the appointment. <laughs> that today was the appointment. We'll keep that for another day. Sure. You were still explaining something about Basutu exactly, yeah. and their knowledge of the cosmos and yeah. how they've named the cosmos yeah. without actually having the instruments. But information passed down from generation to generation. Absolutely. So in our institute, Marisabo University College, mm. so we we our business is to research African origins of knowledge. Mm. Because we believe that in order to emancipate the African, the African mm. you need that authenticity of knowledge mm. so that you are grounded in an authentic cultural knowledge. Mm. And we also believe that cultural knowledge is key to emancipation. What we have been doing in the past, it has always been the use of foreign ideas, mm. foreign ideologies, Karl Marx and stuff like that. Uh, and we don't, we're not kicking them out, but we're saying that you need to be grounded. And there's no crime in kicking them out. Don't apologize. Macros. There's Macros. no crime. Macros. Why, why should, we be, should we be yeah. using a Nokia phone with a Samsung software? Yeah. We're where, Africans where, here. Why are we where, struggling where, yeah. to... Where is Maxi, where is Maxi here? Yeah. Where, where are, what happened to Ubuntu? If it is not just uh, Marxism, it's actually uh, mm. uh, 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 Ubuntu yes. uh, from Module C. Absolutely. <laughs> and Ubuntu is the software Thank you. that we need. Mm. Absolutely. Now, what's interesting about this, the cosmology aspect, is that the, when you look at Western society, and mm. I'm talking here from the point of view of historiography, and mm. by historiography I mean, you know, the distinction between history and historiography. So history, of course, is about your events, your dates, mm. and all that. Mm. But historiography is a separate discipline from history, but mm. it is about history. Mm -hmm. It is about how history is written, who wrote mm. it. Who the are handwriting, the the, exactly, and the complexion, and exactly of the writing, absolutely. Yeah. Well, the history always and the, the culture. <laughs> history always takes the complexion of the writer. Yeah. Mm. So we then found that actually in Western society, this star, Dosa, mm. Jupiter, in Donsa, mm. uh, they yeah, so not Donsa. Yeah. Uh, that's what I'm saying. The serious. So there is exactly a, a, a distinction. Uka, yes. Uka, no, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Mm. So Udonsa. Tosa, Jupiter, uh, there is a, an Italian astronomer by the name of Galileo. Mm. 
he is credited with using a telescope to look into the sky. To look into the sky, and he and the Catholic Church killed him for saying, yes. the, for saying the world is round. Yeah, yeah. because I think, uh, but the Africans, you see, knew about the roundness of the earth long mm. before. Yeah, you see, when you go to when you visit them, Sutu, mm. in their in their house, and uh, maybe at the back, we, we are Kuleg Bazoti, Potuluha Potuluha means go round. Mm -hmm. Even if the house is rectangular, because you know in the in the townships houses are rectangular. But they still say poor But they still look. put to look. Uh, yes. They stick to the recycle. Exactly, exactly. Uh. Because for them in the in the league. Mm. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, so you, you give us some extra definition. I, I, I'm enjoying myself, but I want, I'm representing more than uh, 65 million out there. Course, so the main the Indilika is uh, Indilika is a uh, is a uh, the, round, the roundness. The, 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 this uh, is in the, yeah Indilika. This, this is Indilika. Yes, yes, that's yes. Indilika. Yes, uh, in Susutu, Mudiko mm -hmm. is still also Indilika means a disc. Mm -hmm. Yes, the sun is the disc. Wow. Yes. So there's one uh, prayer I've written, it's called the prayer of the ancestors. Mm. And it, it says that, you know, when, when the ancestors uh, rise into the heavens, mm. they will see the disc, and that is the sun. Wow. Exactly, exactly. So the concept of disc, of roundness, mm. is existential to the, the African. African cosmology. And In Shona, we have Choto. Okay. Choto, it is the round place. Yes. Where we cook. Okay. So every heart. Yes. Is a gok, it's must, choto. must have a choto, mm. which is round. Okay. And inside the choto, yeah. I'm a four, which okay. is a triangle. Exactly, yes. Where you put your pot on. And Basito have the same, with a three-legged yeah, uh, pot. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, yeah. Now, I like that word. You said choto, right? Choto. Yeah. So Basito have a word yeah. called chicha. Yeah. It also means round. It means round. Talk us about it's bandu. It's bandu language. <laughs> Nine from each other. Exactly, exactly, exactly. You just need to listen a little bit more. Yes. I mean, yeah. and you can actually hear the phonetics. Mm. That etymology is not, you know, not far from each other. Yeah. It's just a matter of diction yes. and a little bit of an uh, adaptation, yeah. geographical adaptation. Yes. I was saying the same thing. You're saying something very interesting. Absolutely. I want us to dive into so African knowledge exactly. in terms of our understanding, our cosmology. Let's maybe for today. Yeah. Let's just zoom into African uh, co co cosmogamy. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Cosmogony, absolutely. Yeah, and cosmography. Yes yes yes, 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 yes. So, Galileo, mm. who saw four moons, mm. right? But these were big moons. So, but that's all that he saw. It would take uh, NASA more than 300 years to reach to the discover level. the baby moons. Which was so to talk about. More than 300 years. Come on now. Some of the moons were discovered as recent as last year. But Rasutu are saying we see Jupiter. Yes, and in fact, and her children. And her babies. Exactly. And it's interesting that. This is fascinating. Absolutely. This is fascinating. Absolutely. I wish I would get a glass of water and just drink to this. You know, this is. This, yes, yes. This is, this is something <laughs> else. Of course, of course. NASA is discovering now. Took them a long time. What Rasutu yes. have put known. in their totem. Yes. For and, years. and it's a part of the proverb. It's a daily proverb. We right. speak about this. We things. speak about not one, not one. Yeah. See, if it was just a matter of we see the moon, mm. it's something else. Mm. But if you say you see Donza, yes, and you also Donza mm. and then you see Jupiter, you see exactly. her children, exactly. Which are, for me, that, that's that there's depth right there. It, it mm. goes to an extent to show the value of mm. African information prior to colonization. Yeah. So you wouldn't tell me that an African is uneducated. No, no, no. And they understand so yeah. much of cosmology. Mm. That's an insult. In fact, uh, uh, there's an insect. Uh, we, we no, this, this one, I want us to keep it away. Okay. This okay. one, I want uh, you, you people, so you, you, pardon me. You didn't see I, that? I have, to, I have to manage this, uh, yes. this space. <laughs> Absolutely. These two books you never yes. saw. Absolutely. We are here today. Absolutely. Let's go with secrets of the, the desert. Secret of the knowledge of the desert. The desert. Yeah. Let's go for that okay. one for today. So that you can be exhaustive Marcos. to a certain level, yes. Marcos. So it's quite interesting that um, the Africans are able to see and know about stars, including invisible stellar bodies, without mm. instruments. And the question becomes, how is that possible? Mm. And name them. And name them, exactly. Mm. But now the Basut will tell you that, no, our ancestors, they mm. came from the stars. Mm. They came from the heavens. So we're just relating our history. Exactly, we're just relating our history. Mm. Uh, and this is like, you know, somebody in a house, mm. right? And this person in a house, they know where the needle is mm. located. Let me just throw in a, because me and you, yeah. we can relate. Yeah. Ugutonza is to pull. Yeah. 
And when a woman is having ovarian issues yes. in her abdomen, yes. and her yeah. whole periods yeah. are actually linked to the movement yeah. of the moon in the atmosphere. Mm -hmm. So you have the cosmology, mm. the cosmic forces yeah. that are actually causing womb yeah. and anatomical movements. Yes. And the naming mm. of the physical mm. is a replica mm. of the cosmological understanding. And the functions and the activities that are happening at the physical level mm. are in constant conversation. Yeah, and by understanding the unseen, you can actually appreciate and live with the sin, mm. if that yeah. makes sense. Absolutely. You, you've just hit it on the nail because uh, mm. yeah. it also has to do with the water. Yes. Now, if you listen to a Stein's a suit, it's called Naledi. Mm. Naledi. Yes, that, that's how they name it. Mm. Now, if you analyze the word, okay, there's Naledi. The moon, Huidi. Then Rama Sedi. And Rama Sedi. To us talk to God. Oh, yeah. No, that's Sedi right. is the light. Exactly. So it's the Ra of the light. Exactly. Ra, and, I'm coming, exactly and I'm going to unpack it for you. Um, the, the light is called Mahdi. Mahdi. Now, notice that all these words I've just given, mm. they've got the D mm. at the end. Which is water. Exactly. But it's the primordial water. You see? Come on now. It comes, <laughs> the, the D comes from a very old word called. Uh, Mukedi. Mukedi. Yeah, you'll never hear modern Basutu talk. It's a very ancient word. Mm. But Mukedi mm. means primordial water. That is, these are the waters that break exactly. when a woman is about to Exactly. They say Mukedi. Mukedi. Mm. And, and in fact, the word also Mukedi means uh, what in English they call matter. Mm. Wow. Basutu would use Mukedi. Mukedi is matter. Exactly, because in English, matter means particles, right? Mm. Because they would say atom, mm. uh, neutrons, those are particles. Mm. Well, and a particle means that discrete, right? Mm. From each other. Mm. Well, Basutu says, no, matter is continuous, mm. because it's water, it's continuous. It's movement. It's movement, mm. yes. And uh, so, when they say Naledi, they are telling us that there is water in the star. Yes. Wow. Yes, there's water in the star. Once there's a D there. Yes, once there's a D there. We know. So, so and, and another beautiful one. Yeah. Mosadi. Exactly. There must be water there. Absolutely. I, just to crack a joke. No, no, no. Let me just crack a joke. Yeah, exactly. Off the record. Off sure. the record. You forgive me, guys. Mm. They say these ladies these days, they buy all these uh, weird uh, Chinese clothes mm. that tuck up uh, big tummies. Mm. And then they put on these big things. And then when, when you finally take them home and they remove those things, then the whole tummy falls onto their to their legs mm. because these women are lying these days mm. because they can do lots of tuck up. Yeah, yeah, that's and right. And this other guy says no. There's a solution to that. Okay. If a woman does that, and now there's load shading also, <laughs> so most likely you would not know where other where other elements are yeah. that need to be accessed by sure. forms of entertainment. So you must always carry a bottle of Eno or a sachet of Eno. Okay. Then you must sprinkle on the on the where it goes. Shh, that's where it is. Ed. That's where <laughs> Madi is. That's where that's where Musadi is. That's, that's where, where the water is. That's where the water. Are. Yeah, man. <laughs> no, water is is very important. Uh, hence, they say Naledi because there's water there. Khoidi, the moon. Mm. Also, they say there's water there. Now, there's something interesting. They might not have found it. No, yeah, there's But the answer. fact that the Sutus are saying. Yeah, yeah, they said there's water. No, but here, listen to this. Mm. So I did an interview at one point with uh, Vets University of Witwatersrand Rent Radio. Mm. And it was about astronomy, astrophysics. Mm. So they happened Metaphysics to Metaphysics and yeah. astrophysics. Uh, and Quantum they, physics. Yes, and they called me to be interviewed mm. to give the Basutu cosmology. Mm. And I explained that uh, Basutu called Huidi Huidi because there's water there. Mm. And then they asked this scientist, Western scientist, they said, Basutu say there's water the in moon. the moon. Is there water in the moon? And the scientist. The scientist said, no, no. No, these people are just making things up. Okay. Then I decided to do Google, Google for yeah. some reason. Yeah. I said, water in the moon. Mm. There it was on the NASA website. Mm. It says, NASA can confirm that there's water. That there's water. This is four or five hundred years later. Oh. I, I like that. I <laughs> so, the f and, and scientists, the, the, what, what annoys me sometimes mm. is the arrogance of, yes. of academia. The arrogance. Where you, you say it is not there mm. until it is proved that it is there. But when you look at African indigenous knowledge, and you actually have a name, you have classification, mm. you have neuter, masculine mm. or feminine, and all those are already yeah. included in terms of the language. Yeah. For you to meet me today and say it is not there, mm. 
when actually an African is telling in terms of language exactly. that I already yes. have it in my vocabulary. Yes. And my vocabulary tells you that I have an experience yeah. and I have knowledge, whether it's written or it's quantified, it's mm -hmm. written, mm -hmm. but I have the knowledge. Yes. And, and f f that, that for me is, is, is totally a... It's a misnomer. It, it is. throws me yeah. off the rail of education to say, yeah. are we really being taught mm. good stuff or we're being taught to recycle European mm. foolishness that is waiting on a test tube mm. to be proved? The fact that you can't prove it does not mean yeah. that it is not there. Absolutely. And I think that is a, is a colonial phenomenon. It's mischief, man. Yeah. It's colonial it's mischief. Exactly. Let's co no, 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 not even, it does not yeah. even give it justify. Yeah. It's colonial nonsense. It's, it is. It yes. Is. Absolutely. Yeah. Because what they're trying to do, they're trying to miseducate our children mm. about this. But when we are grounded in the African origins of knowledge, in the cultural knowledge, when mm. we are grounded there, we are mm. very strong. We can give an example. I mean, if you look at Chinese, uh, Mao Zedong, they, mm. got, they were under colonial occupation by, Japan, by mm. Japan. In 1949, they won their revolution. Mm. And then, what's interesting, that 10 years later, Change their they decided to embark on a cultural revolution. And they got into an ideological split with the Soviet Union. Remember, it was Khrushchev, I think, around that yeah. time. And then Khrushchev was saying, how can you be talking about cultural revolution when the well, logical project, project is, is, is economic re revolution and industrialization and civilization? Exactly. exactly. Which, which, which for me, you look at, you look back sixty years later, mm -hmm. China is now on top. Exactly, because they said to Khrushchev, they said, if Chinese can be inspired by their culture their language, mm. their ancestors, their thinkers, their philosophers. Listen, gentlemen, when mm. you come back after the break, mm. I think we have a solution for Africa right mm. there. Mm. China did it in the 1940s. Mm. We are 60 years behind. By looking backwards, mm. we can always see the future. Mm. Our answers for the future are found in the past that we are running away from. Yeah. When you come back under the, after the break, I want us to explore mm. this part of African cosmology, African epistemologies, mm. African hegemony. Mm and see how all this indigenous knowledge can actually be converted into business, into industry, into education, and transform the software of the African thinking. Don't go away. We'll be back with you right after the break. Here with us, Zulu Matabo. Zulu, all the way from the free state, taking us through some interesting cosmological interpretation and conversations. Hello. The fourth industrial technology era has forcefully changed how every profession has been working for its clients. The world has become smaller than what we used to think. Imagine the ease of talking to a person who is in Australia, China, or Germany while you are in South Africa, as if you're just next door. The ease that globalization and the fourth industrial technology have brought humanity entail doing business anywhere in the world as long as you have the purpose and the means. It is our expertise as MB Chabong Incorporated to advise clients immigrating to South Africa on various permits and on opportunities for travelers who intend to sojourn in South Africa for a longer period of time. Shewa Rikpe, aye no ti kireju iti arulo. Nito rino ima wani isi lo ati ofiyang baye. Shewa ni officer koko, lori awo iso wo ile ati igbanila ye. Lati gba iwe rino, pun ishe oko wo. For MB Chabangu Incorporated, Reba Energy, the Nota, Reliba Sebedisi, Lady Officer Jarnakua, Pretoria, Johannes Beckley, Bloomfontein, MB Chabangu Incorporated, Ukumanera, Rabo Nolo, Bariki Barena, Ukumana Chavisole, Serin Gabo Dralo, Rehopela Lerle, Lechamohala, 012 341 4187, Hoba Lerin Wanale Lemwala, Tubi Lago, admin at chabangu.co.za. MB Chabangu Incorporated, Mo Matata, Ahuman Awotarunlo. Feel the heat. Hold oh, on. To make it through this journey alive, you're gonna need someone to teach you the ninja way. Don't just stand there, kill someone! Oh. Feel the excitement. Feel the heat with Starsat. Challenge your ordinary. Experience the extraordinary. Not only the government, the municipality here has had no plan. Now I believe that my peace is my most valuable asset. Absolutely beautiful! 
looking for. Camping, camping, camping. DJ Khaled. It is a day to celebrate. We're ready for action. I like it when it's nice and soft. Yeah, that and, uh, is nice. How was it like growing up in Nigeria? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what it is. The feeling is there that, you know, you're doing something special. Stop being so dramatic, Mira. You should just be what you want to be. Experience the extraordinary with Starset. I must talk to the administration of this office. Tonight, I feel we can just sit here for the whole night and draw as much information as we can. And for tonight, I think uh, he has done four books. I think there could be more out there. But I just decided for the sake of the show tonight mm -hmm. that we focus more on the, 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 the sacred knowledge of the desert. Mm -hmm. In other words, unpacking the African uh, philanthropical uh, transcendence and understanding actually the African cosmological you know, perspectives mm -hmm. and how we can use our own language to actually interpret the greater spaces. I just hope before the end of the show we'll be able to now to convert all this cosmological knowledge into mathematical knowledge, yeah. which is actually was the prime reason why I'd called him mm -hmm. to find out how did he write a book on interpreting African uh, uh, mathematics mm -hmm. into an African language. But I, I like the background from where yeah. we are coming from. Yeah. Because if we can start by naming things, mm. we can start by calculating things, yeah. we can start by measuring masses, and even talking cosmological issues. Mm. By the time we come to mathematics, we're not talking angles, triangles, and circles, and etc. And I think it's quite related to what we yeah. are talking about right now. It almost be the same fraternity, if not the same school of thought. Sort yeah. of. You were still explaining to me about the knowledge of the desert. Yes, absolutely. Over to you, Professor. I talk about course. So, um, so it is noteworthy that the Africa, so the, the, the Western people with their instruments, mm. it would take them more than 300 years to actually discover these baby moons, mm. which they are still discovering. Mm. Uh, it is estimated that there's more than 60 moons, actually. And, uh, and uh, what's interesting is the distance. For example, some of the moons, in terms of distance, mm. they would be as far away as 20 million kilometers apart from each other apart from each other and that's Basutu can name them. can name them that's powerful stuff hmm. now it's too much for one night I'm a course. My, my head my head is like yeah. hitting the ceiling like like yeah my course my course and then now in this book as you have already pointed out so we use the 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 desert flower as a, the as, as a metaphor mm. and the reason being that uh, when I was in Botswana northern Botswana so then uh, I, was, I was a religious person before I was a Christian, mm. you know, I belonged to the church, Seventh Adventist Church. We, we, share, we share some common background. We share yeah. some common background. Which, which part of Botswana were you in? Uh, I was in North, Francis In the North. In the North. I went to school with a guy by the name of Tulhanyo Lefuko. Okay. Tula, okay. Now, brilliant uh, Hebrew scholar. Hmm. Bo Ben Strike, Bo Raquena, hmm. Bo, who is the other one? Who can remember? Pofu, Adrian Pofu was okay. a few years ahead. Okay. He graduated and I arrived. And who is the other one? Hmm. There's another one, Ra Raquena, I've already mentioned him. There's okay. this other one. Uh, blah, 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 blah. And there's also Ntlapu. Oh, yes, Ntlapu. You remember Ntlapu? Uh, uh. He's my homeboy. Oh, okay. Yeah, he went to Salusi. That, I think it was Cliff. in the. Gift, yeah. Gif give or gift. Exactly. Oh. His his name is actually Mzanem, but gift. Is, yeah, yes, yes. gift is yeah. Oh, he's from Free State, from oh from, yes, from yes, yes. Yeah, we I played with the cousin who did nine club for the piano. Ah, those are my calls. Exactly, exactly, ah. exactly. We so we we're, <laughs> we're just missing each other. Exactly. In the, in the same space. In the same space. <laughs> I don't know what I don't know what Masawata will say now. He is just talking about cos cosmology <laughs> yeah, and uh, and uh, spiritual stuff. Yeah, what do you chief? I'm quite interested. In your, in your study and your research on cosmology. Yes. So what's interesting about uh, when I was in Botswana mm. is that uh, I got, I developed a theological hustle mm. because, you know, in South Africa, I was subject, I was always subjected to these images of a white God. Mm. And then, so I was like, going to exile was like running away from this white God. Yeah. When I arrived in the in the Botswana in the ANC camp, mm. they introduced me to another white god, and that was Karl Marx. His mm. Bible was Das Kapital. Mm. Then I said from, the, from the frying pan. Yes, into in the, the fire. <laughs> <laughs> then I said, but there's no escape from a white god. I'm telling you. So I decided to go to the desert, Kalahari. Mm. That's how this book was. Aha. Uh -huh. uh -huh. 
There's a book of they call them Masaza. There's a book, in, in there's a book I've just finished reading now. Okay. The ways of the Khoisang and oh, that's beautiful. The, the, the yeah. warmth, the energy, and the dancing around the fire. It's a beautiful, beautiful piece of work. That, they're very great. Those people. They are called Masaro in, in, in Masaro. Masaro. Yes. Masaro. Yeah, Masaro. Mm. Exactly. So those great people, mm. great people. They are they are close to nature. Mm. So what I found in the desert, I saw the desert is very dry. Mm. And there are fault lines in the desert. You see these cracks, mm. you know. And then when I was looking, I see, and, and the place is very harsh. Mm. But I see this fragile plant showing some green. Then I said, this has got to be a miracle. There's no water here. How can this, How can this fragile plant show some green? And green is a symbol of beauty. Yes. And, so, life. and life. And water. And, and water. And exactly. there's no water here. And there's no water here. Mm. Then I said, this is a miracle. Mm. This is telling us that this plant is transcending mm. the adverse conditions and of the desert. able to convert the uh, desert exactly. into a fountain. Exactly. And what's interesting is the way it's growing up. It's actually looking into the heavens because that's where the water is going to come from. Mm. It knows that. It doesn't look track of that. You'll, not, you'll never see it bending. Bending. Straight no. up. Straight up. Into the sun. Into the sun. Bend, the bend me if you can. Exactly. But that's where the water is coming. And we are talking about some killer sun rays there. Some yeah, killer sun rays. The temperatures can go up to exactly. about 45, 45 Absolutely. to 50 degrees there. And also something about the desert. You, you shouldn't eat a lot in the desert. Mm. If you can eat a lot Too of much. food, you can die. Mm. Because remember that the food is going to need a lot of liquid and fluids energy to and energy digest to digest. And so you don't have enough now to hydrate. Mm. You see? Mm. So, so we eat too much, yeah? It's, it's quite, you know, it's... it's, it's, actually, it's that's, a, that's a brilliant, that's a brilliant observation. No, thank you. Because thank actually, you. We, if we knew that it's the survival techniques mm. of some of the African tribes, it actually should speak yeah. to this whole issue of us gulping down five liters of water yeah, per yeah, day yeah. and chowing four, five, six meals a day, yeah, plus yeah, no. snacks and etc. And then on the other day, we cry of obesity. Yeah. We cry of high blood pressure Diabetes. and diseases that yeah. are going on. Meanwhile, yeah. we're eating too much. Yeah, absolutely. The, absolutely. the Bushman eats once in three days. And, 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 and they've got plants that they can use if just you feel like chew, chew a shrub chew something. to hold your hunger. Exactly. I've never seen an obese Bushman. Exactly. A Mosaro. Exactly. Uh -huh. And some of the people who eat well, I must say, uh, the people from Limpopo. If you can see people from Limpopo also, mm. for the most part, they're very slender. Mm. It's quite interesting. Mm. And when very, you look very at their fruity, food, very fruity, very healthy, exactly. Mm. Very sharp looking. And if you look at their food, mm. you know, it's always the green stuff. Murohos. Muroho. Yeah. Exactly. Mm. You know, uh, vegetables. Vegetables, yeah. You know. You never hear a vendor kid being accused of stealing mangoes or yeah. avocados. Yeah. Because every tree, every house has mm. a tree. Mm. <laughs> so uh, I think. Uh, in the desert. I, I want to hear the, the Masaro. I want to hear exactly, the Masaro. Yes. You are in the desert with me. This exactly. plant this that plant. you find this facing into the plant. sun. Yes. And then uh, what's interesting also this plant is very intelligent because when you look at its leaves, mm. its leaves are very thin. You know, because they are thin so that it doesn't lose too, too much, much water. Yes. Mm. You see? Don't take too much that you can use. Exactly. Yeah. It just takes enough and that does the photosynthesis. But then if it realizes that photosynthesis, because photosynthesis needs water, mm. and if this drought goes on for too long, mm. it shuts down the so photosynthesis. Mm. Yes. And cruises on. And, and then removes now. It's going gonna, it's gonna to lose the foliage. Mm. And then you think it's dead. No, it has gone underground. Mm. Yes. Waiting for the. Waiting for. And, and the book says, uh, the great desert flower Mboni remains underground listening to the slightest indications of the falling rain. Oh, exactly. That's what the book says. Yeah. In my tribe, we say when lightning strikes, mm. that's when the seeds under the ground explode yes. to germinate. That's very true. And you know, the desert flower can hear that mm. because it has these, how shall I say, acoustic, I, and I describe the acoustic mm. uh, stimulus. That's quantum physics. That's quantum absolutely. physics. Absolutely. That's Acoust quantum Acoustic physics. stimulus. Yeah. yeah. Yes. And it is the first one, by the way, to break out of the ground when the rain falls. Wow. Yes. Number one. And the book says that, you know, the desert flower remains underground. Mm. Right. Is there a poem there? 
Oh, let me read one. When we come back after the yes. break, we'll start up with the poem yeah. of the desert flower there. Mm. Right here with Zulu, Zulu Matabo, Zulu. Mm. Two names in one day. Yeah. The heavens are here with us to be taking us through this uh, yeah. wonderful conversation. And after the break, we'll be coming back to hear some of these beautiful conversations mm. of the desert flower. Mm. And I hope while you are listening, as African people, we could have gone underground. We could have been disadvantaged. Mm. The sun was heavy on us. We cut down, we became colonized. We are under the ground here. But when you hear these voices bellowing in the sky, lightning of information coming up to your space, those that are ready for the season, it is time to best up and come back again. And I hope you'll be one of those first flowers out of this great revolution. After the break, with Zulu Matabo Zulu on African Cosmogo. Challenge your ordinary. Experience the extraordinary. Not only the government, the municipality here has had no plan. Now I believe that my peace is my most valuable asset. Absolutely beautiful! This is exactly what I was looking for! Camping, camping, camping! DJ Khaled! It is a day to celebrate. We're ready for action. I like it when it's nice and soft. Yeah, that is yeah. nice. How was it like growing up in Nigeria? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what it is. Feeling is there that, you know, you're doing something special. Stop being so dramatic, Mira. You should just be what you want to be. Experience the extraordinary with Starset. China saying that the latest outbreak is under control. Feel the heat. The cabinet has decided to ease restrictions on certain other economic activities. I don't want to be a white person who sits by and does nothing, so that's why I'm here today. Feel the excitement. We are here to unite, because what we are fighting for is to stop institutional racism. Feel the heat with Starset. Desert flower, the desert flower, Unta de Zulu, Zulu uh, Matabo Zulu is in Botswana, visit the deserts and find this beautiful desert flower. Beautiful conservation, survival techniques in the desert. The African child needs to know also how to survive this desert. You're going to read a poem for us. So, goes on my course. Mm. so the poem I'm reading here is called Venturesome Kisses. And this poem first appeared in, that, in the other book, A Woman in the Bush, and then it inspired the whole book, mm. this desert. So it says here, like a dew wetting the tulips, mouth watering kisses grazed the lips. A sweet kiss in the killer jungle tasted sweeter than life itself. Life extending kisses in the bush were ended too soon by ambush. Mm. The kisses were penetrated with indelible blood when the umbilical cord snapped between brutal scissors by perils belying the path on forbidden grounds. Mm. Now beyond the great Atlantic, 
the heart still crying for a fugitive of Kate must hope, Kate must hope, Kate must hope, mm. as though I'm still hooked on the memory of the past. Mm. This hook is tearing me like a fish in a hook of its own. Now the commentary says, forbidden grounds of love cast their spell. The naivete of love mm. sweetens the love that exists like a desert flower. Deprived of water, the flower waits underground until mm. when the rains fall, it springs to life, knowing that the rain will soon be gone. So mm. that, that, is the, that is the poem that, that summarizes my experience in mm. the desert. <coughs> And uh, what's interesting about the desert flower is that when the rain falls and it springs to life, mm. you know, it begins to dance in the breeze. And mm. when it dances in the breeze, it dances energetically, vigorously, like it's, it, like it's convicted religiously, you mm. know. It's not dragging its feet, mm. so to speak. It's on its springs. It's on its, exactly. But here is an interesting thing. It doesn't just enjoy the rain. Mm but it also internalizes the rain. Stores the rain. Yes. Harvests the rain. Harvests the rain in its mm. succulence. Mm. Because it knows that the rain is not forever. It's not forever. Mm. It will soon be gone. Wow. And Chief, yeah. Chief the, the concept of the flower yeah. that you have told me, and the preservation of the flower, and how it holds the water, mm. I, I hear that as an African people. Mm. We've gone through the desert storms. We've gone through the dry spells. Mm. And could there be a possibility that language remains one of the storehouses of Absolutely. African knowledge and intelligence. So that even if everything else around us, mm -hmm. it's TV, it's WhatsApp, it's Facebook, it's technologies, it's fashions, it's wigs, it's powders, it's fake eyelashes, fake bums, name everything. Yeah. But there is one little thing that we still have that has remained with us, and that is our language. Can you please take us through as to what is it that is stored in language which we can use during the moments of the dry spells during this time of african quarantine and african dry season and actually language is like the succulents of the of the desert flower mm. uh, language is not just communication mm. uh, it is a carrier of culture a mm. carrier of history mm. and a carrier of cosmology mm. let's make an example um, Basutu, today there's a word in Susutu called Mudumedi, mm. right? And when you ask uh, people to say, what is Mudumedi? They will say, if somebody is a religious belief, somebody goes to church. Mm. Kiadumel. Kiadumel. Mm. Uh -huh. But when you analyze linguistically, the word, word Mudumedi, mm. you find that no, it cannot be associated with a church mm. because a church came through colonial colonization. Mm. But we had this word. But we had this word before that. Before that. Exactly. So our institute began to do some digging mm -hmm. into this word. Mm. And we found that actually the word Mudumedi is from cosmology. Mm. I'll make an example. Mudu. Mudumedi, yes. Medi. Exactly. Mm. When you look at um, the star, as I mentioned already, it's called Naledi. Mm. Now, when you have a star, which is what they call a shooting star, mm -hmm. they call that one Muchocho no no. Muchocho no. Muchocho no. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And that means, because it has a trail, yes. right? Yeah. And in Zulu, mm. actually, that would also be called Imfolozi. Mm. Because Imfolozi means Something that the trail. Mm. That's making a trail, exactly, mm. yeah. OK. But if that star mm. falls to the ground, mm. like a meteorite, yes. they don't call it Muchachonon anymore. What do they call it? They call it Lidumedi. Lidumedi. Lidumedi means it came from the stars. Mm. Exactly. Mm. So the word Mudumedi means they came from the stars. The one who is on the ground. Exactly. Who has come from the stars. From the stars. And their ancestors came mm. from the stars. Wow. Which is the reason why they don't need telescopes to know that Jupiter mm. has got baby moons. Wow. Exactly. You see? Wow. So this is mind blowing. Mm. Honestly, honestly, this mm. is like a, a rewiring mm. of the entire thinking, mm. thinking, mm. thinking uh, trained uh, with as modern mm. children that we have. So when you, someone says the Kimu Dumed, yeah. it has nothing to do with Christianity. Nothing to do with the Christianity. It, you're actually admitting yeah. that you have fallen from the stars. You've fallen from the stars. You're apart from the stars. Exactly. Exactly. And if we should use theology, yeah. it would choke them. 
Okay, I'm not ready. Mm -hmm. Because there's only one, we, according to the Bible, yeah. who fell from the heavens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's called the fallen star. The fallen so star, to call yeah. yourself Mudumedi, yeah, yeah, yeah. actually be saying I'm in the devil. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's yeah. another day. Yeah, that's yeah. Another. For sure. But etymology for me yes. becomes quite critical. Becomes quite critical. Mm -hmm. In the last few minutes that we have, sure. I, I, I don't want to overcrowd you. Sure. We're going to be having him on Sunday, on the Sunday show, mm -hmm. and we're going to do a full full Monty mm -hmm. in terms of the mathematics mm -hmm. using Sutu language and etc. So I, I didn't even want to temper into that mm -hmm. because I want to give him a full carte blanche, unedited mm -hmm. conversation with him on Sunday morning. Be here with us from 11 to 2 o'clock in the afternoon where we have Zulu, uh, Zulu Matabo Zulu taking us through how he has been able to translate uh, quote unquote seemingly complex mathematical mm -hmm. concepts that the African child cannot understand mm -hmm. into African language and you do so by simply unlocking language yeah, that's right by yeah. simply mm -hmm. unlocking mm -hmm. language and by understanding language and symbols and numbers mm -hmm. you can actually be able to teach even the most complex languages Absolutely. to actually the, to even the to baby children. Yeah. Maybe in your own words, yeah. in your own words, give us some basic. How do I count in Sutu? Yes. And let's yeah. count in Sutu. Yes. Mwe. Mwe. And mwe sounds like a crying of a baby. <laughs> mwe. Yes, exactly. Yeah. And the crying of a goat. Mwe. You know. So mwe, mwe. is one. Yes. yes. Uh. Pedi. Pedi. And yes. there you have it. Yes. And there there's the D coming out again. Yes. There's the water there. There's water there. Yeah. Yeah. I can hear you. Exactly. Yeah. So when two people are exactly. there's water there. there. There's water there. You didn't hear me, guys. But <laughs> you guys are too slow. <laughs> you are too slow for me, man. You are and, too and, slow for and me. Then, and isn't it that uh, yeah. actually water has got two elements? Two elements. Isn't it? Hydrogen. Yeah. Yes. And oxygen. And, and both of them. So, yeah. so the, 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 you're already teaching chemistry. Yeah. You're already teaching mathematics. Yes. You're already teaching matrimony. Yeah. In, in, so and you, electricity. And electricity. You know, water is got polar. And uh, right and by. Okay. Yil and yil. Philosophy is right there. Yeah. So, yeah. Me yeah. for one. Yeah, that's right. Then, Pedi. Pedi. Yes. Two. Yes, that's right. Uh -huh. And then taro. Taro. Yes. All right. Now, you yeah. see, the taro one is in Ta. Remember? Uh, 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 is still there. Uh, uh, exactly. Yeah. Ta. Ta. Now, Ta is in... And Ru. Yes. Ru is an Egyptian god. Exactly. Yes. It's interesting that uh, actually uh, the Ra mm. in Sisutu is the god. Mm. A male god, that yes. is. Yes. Because the female god is Ma. Ma. So it's a, it's Ma. a male god, yeah. yes. Yeah. And it also means uh, solving. Mm. Raro is to uh, yeah. ta, raro lies to solve yeah. solving to solve a mathematical yes. problem. Mm -hmm. You see, yeah. raro, raro is unpacking. It's unpacking. It's a yes. Dis 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 yeah. it's a disentangling. Disentangling. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I, I know that Will Smith was entangled. This is now we are okay. disentangling yeah, now. Disentangling. We're disentangling. <laughs> 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 I am I'm enjoying this. So the Di taru taru. Yes, yes. So we have ta and ru there. Yes. yes. And if you can go into chemistic knowledge, yes, there's quite a little bit there. Absolutely. Because how do you end up with ta? Absolutely. And ru. And uh, another interesting part, you see the ta mm. in Sesotho. Mm. Just that ta. In mathematical, that's tough. Ta. <laughs> <You know? laughs> yeah. My mind well, is so running. In Sesotho, mm. ta is a metaphysics word. Mm. It means something that is tangible. Yes. Yeah. In Greek, sigma ta. Ta. Ta yeah. is, is actually a, yeah. a symbol. Exactly. A symbol in, in mathematics. Mm. So, mwe, uh, pedi, pedi, ta. So, the pedi yes. are two. Two elements. No, so there's a tribe called the pedis. Yeah, uh -huh, exactly. Yes. So, they must know there are two. Yes. So, why does it mean that when you say you're a pedi, mm. when you actually, when you say I'm pedi, you're saying, I am two. Mm. So where is the first one? And if you are the second one. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. But you see the cost the concept of twin also is critical. Right? Yes. Twin in the So African maybe in the history yeah. there were twins that were born there. Yeah, yeah. And most likely the naming end up so let's go quickly. Sure, sure. So it's a Taru Mwe Pedi Pedi Taru Taru Ne Ne. ne. Yes. There is me. Yeah, there we go. And when it comes to me, yeah. that's actually the genealogy. It's true. Your yeah. grandmother's yes. on your father's side, yeah. mother's side, your grandfather, mother's side, father's side. Yes. So on your side, me, yeah. which makes your fingerprint. And five is? Shano. Shano. Yes. So Shano is actually Shano. a combination of uh, but, ne, yes. ne yeah. in Shano. But what's also interesting, yeah. Shano means yeah. invasion. It means we are in fashion. This thing is very complicated in Sesotho, now. In Sesotho, Hoshano Lela, if I, I do this. Turn it as upside down. Yeah, I'm inverting. So from number five, yes. we are turning now. I say, and you know why they so do that? There you go. Exactly. So yeah. if, if this is meh. Yes. 
and this is Shano, yes. means by the time you get here, yeah. you are turning to have your own family. Uh, actually, it means we're changing the number base. Like we're changing the number base. Yes. Guys, it's you guys, guys if you miss the show on Sunday, wherever you are, yeah. I want to challenge you. Block of time, buy data. Mm. Be, be here from 11 to 2 o'clock. We're going to be unpacking all this. And six yeah. is what? It's Lela. Which means the Sounds crossing. Sounds like the path. The crossing. Yeah. It's Lela. It's Lela. It's Lela. The crossing. It's the crossing. Yeah. My word. Seven. Seven super. That means we're seeing it now. We, we can point super. it. We can see it. We can point, yeah. Uh-huh. And then eight you could be eighty. And super actually means super means perfect. There we go. So yeah. my, those girls them say my yeah. bits are my masala, my super and silla. My super, super tea, yeah, the pointing of the, the path. The pointing of the path. Yes, eight. Super, uh, eight. Oh, that means eight. there's only two left. There's only two left. Before we reach the test. Number nine. Uh, Robong. There's one left. Robong. Yes. In ten. Uh, Rifiti. Let show me. Rifiti. Rifiti. Uh, my name is Maponga J. Yeah. Yeah. Zulu. Ma, Zulu. Ma, Tavo Zulu. All the way from Free State. For the conference. Brilliant. Brilliant speaker for us here. And for me, your host for tonight, I could not help myself but enjoy this beautiful conversation. My name is Maponga J. Garambo. Garama Shamba. Uda. Chira. Nawana. Wanjima. Kumbe. Mwana. Mwesende. Weshano. Tizma. Naji. Garama. Uke. Matanda. No. Warachi. Wichiteza. Chinoteza. Until we see you again, don't do what I wouldn't do. If you decide to do it, do it better.